What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay, my journey to 10,000 live listings. Today I wanna to show you guys how to do YouTube Live using Google Hangouts. It's a quick way to get on the internet. It's how I do a majority of my videos. Um, and it's just something that's really easy if you wanna get on and connect with your audience and you also wanna monetize, it's very straightforward. So your first thing you're gonna do is go to youtube.com. You're gonna click up here in your icon in the top right corner and go down to Creator Studio. After you go to Creator Studio, you're gonna to go to the left side, live streaming, go ahead and click on this button. It's going to open up a either stream now using a live encoder, which is a little bit more complicated. I would recommend just using Google Hangouts. And the way that you do that is by clicking on events right here. You can either schedule an event in the future or you can schedule something immediately. The process is the same. Go ahead and click a new live event. And down here, you can either do right now or you can add a time. Let's say I want to go live this evening at 5 p.m. We'll go ahead and click that. Um, let's do uh, setting up YouTube live with Google Hangouts. So typically, what I do to save time is in the description, I'm going to type the same thing as the title. I do the same thing with eBay. And then also, I have a blurb set up in Text Expander. So if I type in YYY, it's going to pull up all of the, the my affiliate links and et cetera, so that I'm not looking for that to add it to every video since it's the same. And then in the tags, I'm going to go YTT or YYT, which will populate all of my shortcuts because I use the same eBay tags for almost every single YouTube video. Um, that's just a good way to save time because I'm doing the same information over and over again. Anytime you do something two or more times to try to figure out how to automate it, you can go in here into advanced settings and adjust things. You can also go into monetization and you can either monetize your videos or turn it off. It depends on what the purpose is of your video. However, I do recommend you monetize your ads because they're going to show up higher in the ranking because um, YouTube and Google, they want to make money. So you're actually going to get more views if you monetize, in my opinion, You know, which it's up to you though. If you don't want to make any money and you don't want to stand out, um, like some people have a problem with charging for content. So if you do, definitely turn off your monetization and go for it that way. Then on the upper right side, you're going to create the event. Um, it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to load, and in the meantime, um, I would just get a cup of water, get ready. Uh, I think you can adjust these settings until the pop-up happens but right now. So yeah, I would click Create Event, make sure everything is good. Now you have this screen that pops up. If you open this in a new tab, you're going to actually pull up the, the chat menu. So you can see a lot of YouTubers. They're looking at a different screen with the chat open, or you can do it on your phone or your iPad so you can see what people are chatting about. Make sure that you go down here and you mute it so that there's not feedback from the live video and then also yourself talking. Some people leave the video on so they can make sure it looks right. Um, either way, uh, make sure that you have this set up. Test it a couple of times before you go live with your audience to make sure you know what you're doing. It's a little bit unprofessional to always have to go in and say, hey, can you hear me? Um, so just try to make sure that you can hear yourself before you launch it. And then in the chat, people will let you know their technical difficulties as well. So going back to this screen, you can re-edit your video here, or you can click Start Hangout on Air, which is going to pull up this control panel. And from here, you can actually see what yourself looks like on air before you go on air. Um, you can see here, so now if I didn't want this T-Rex in the background, I could remove it. Um, but you can see yourself before you go live. But down here, there's a little progress bar because it's setting up the encoding software to stream this live. Um, you can adjust the settings here. I use screen share here on the top left often to help people um, to help people see what actually on my screen. You can actually add people here. This is the important part that I want to stress. This link will automatically open for someone to join the chat. So if you want to do a group chat or an interview, which are the easiest to set up, also in my opinion, the most entertaining to go through a sort of a round table style thing, you can send somebody this link or you can share it to them by sending them an invite to their email address, whatever is easier. I like to send a direct link so that it's very simple. They can just click it and get on. Make sure that you test here in the settings that you have the right microphone and the right camera set up um, and the right speaker system so that you can you can do it. Um, I recommend using headphones so that you um, so that you don't have as much feedback from the audio when you're doing it. And then up here you can also adjust by turning your camera off. 
turning it back on, if you need to use the bathroom, I would mute yourself and also turn off your video. Um, and it's kind of cool. Also, if you have a logo for your brand, it'll pop up when you turn yourself off, which is also pretty cool. And down here on these buttons down here, you can see if your audio is working before you actually launch the broadcast. If you don't see these little green lines, that means something is wrong with your audio hookup. So, that being said, when you go down here and you click Start Broadcast, this off-air button right there will actually turn off or turn into a live streaming. And then to stop the broadcast, you can do the same thing. Go down here and click Stop Broadcast. So that's going to be how you set it up. Hope that was useful, guys. If you have any questions, email me at 10k10k on the bay at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe. Everyone have a great day. Peace out.